This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Fathers and daughters hit the dance floor Saturday night for Afraid's annual Daddy-Daughter Dance. Big Bend was handed their first loss in nearly a month, falling to Walla Walla 70-66 on Saturday. A refugee family reunited at SeaTac Airport after uncertainty from President Donald Trump's travel ban. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Fathers and daughters hit the dance floor Saturday night for Afreda's annual Daddy-Daughter Dance. The 10th annual event drew nearly 200 people to the Afreda Recreation Center as dads and daughters and even some grandfathers spent a night sharing memories. After enjoying dinner, families hit the dance floor where dads had the chance to show off their moves, or lack thereof in some cases, and show a softer side during the slow jams. Organizers say the event has attracted generations of families each year, and some father-daughter couples have attended all 10 dances. The Daddy-Daughter Dance, sponsored by the City of Afreda, has become one of the city's largest events of the year and has sold out nearly every year. For families who miss the Afreda event, tickets are on sale for the Moses Lake Daddy-Daughter Dance February 25th at www.brownpapertickets.com. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Big Bend was handed their first loss in nearly a month, falling to Walla Walla 70-66 on Saturday. Jacob McCord led the Vikings with 27 points and 19 rebounds, including seven offensive rebounds in the loss. Coming off a five-game win streak, Big Bend opened the game on a 13-4 run and held a 36-32 lead at halftime. Walla Walla outscored the Vikings 38-30 in the second half, including an 8-0 run to close the game. Walla Walla poured in 21 points off the bench in the game compared to just three for Big Bend. The Warriors also had four players score in double figures. McCord continues to lead the Northwest Athletic Conference in scoring at nearly 28 points per game and rebounding at 12.5 per game and has posted 17 double-doubles on the season. The loss drops Big Ben to 8-3 in the East Region, 16-8 and overall, and sits tied for third with Walla Walla. The Vikings face second place North Idaho on the road on Wednesday. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One Sports. It's a moment that got people's attention at SeaTac Airport. A brother showering kisses on a sister he hasn't seen in 13 years. Iraqi national Wasi Raba immigrated to the U.S. in 2010 after helping U.S. forces in the war. His two sisters fled Iraq for Turkey, hoping one day to be reunited with their brother in Seattle. I feel this is a dream, not a true yet. I don't believe it is a reality yet. But the tears <laughs> and the hugs prove it's real. Salwa, Abstiem, and Abstiem's two daughters thought President Trump's travel ban would end their dreams of coming to the U.S. <laughs> and the Tequila family waiting for them feared the same. I was very scared, and it's like, not just me, a lot of people who was very scared and their heart was bleeding inside. The Northwest Immigrants Rights Project says many refugees and immigrants from the seven Muslim-majority countries with valid visas right now are moving fast to get to the U.S. The president has said that he's going to continue the fight. They're concerned that the window might close if, if the courts lift the stay. Though the ACLU says many immigrants already in the U.S. say they're still afraid to travel. They're fearful that they can't leave the U.S. for conferences, for work-related things, for study, or even to visit their families. But for now, the sound of pure joy. <laughs> as one family celebrates a new beginning in a country they call bigger than life. From the i one Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey, taking a look at the basin's forecast. Partly cloudy and 37 for your Monday. Clear skies on Tuesday, again about 37. Maybe see some ice pellets as we start the morning on Wednesday, high of 35. Sunshine Thursday and Friday in the mid-40s. Looks like a chance of rain Saturday, maybe snow on Sunday. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. 
This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.